Well, that one right there. I don't have to say anything today. I don't have to say anything. You don't understand. You said everything I say. Everything that I say. Any, anybody that breeds, they know. I'm telling you right now, the boy is useless. I've told. I've said this. This guy doesn't even breed bullies. So you. But you do. <laughs> you got <laughs> see he knows they uh mm -hmm. they did the same thing with the jack russells they have the midget jack russells and do they have flooded the market so bad it's well i have i get messages from all over the people up in iowa kentucky they're like we can't find standards up here anywhere I'm like yeah that's why i have people come from kentucky florida area come to texas because they can't find them anywhere else the standards have gotten so hard to find it's nothing but shorties everywhere and is the short one a better like, one no, no. Now, see, used to, used to you couldn't have gave away a shorty, but nowadays everybody wants, the more screwed up it is, the more people want it. A lot of shorties have a tons of drive, they just got shorter legs. It's just. Well, and they have leg problems though. Yeah. They usually you got, the you got the one woman, go I'm sure y'all seen the woman that does the, she's a hunter, she does, uses her, she has a shorty, she uses them for retrieving and everything, she's real popular. So, I mean, the shorties have the drive, it's just, they got shorter legs. So, uh, everybody wants. The more mixed you can make it nowadays, everybody wants it. I can, oh, yeah. I can bring Jack Russell's and Poodles. I probably couldn't have enough of them. <laughs> yeah. So, and everybody, the more me, the more messed up you make it, the more people want it. That's why the Frenchies are going for twenty and thirty grams because they're so screwed up. Pink fur. I'm like, come on, really? Pink fur? Y'all are buying that? That dog's gonna die in a year from health problems. Did you, did you, see, did you see the ones they've got the hairless ones now? Yeah. That, yeah. All the I said, the more screwed up you can make it, the more they want them. Yeah, I literally. Just did a video on that the <laughs> other day. Like, you guys need these out of breeds. You're killing me. And you're killing the dog. That's what they're doing, the standard Jack Russell's, man. They just, I said, you can't. I just got a message uh, from a woman yesterday in Iowa. She said, I, she said, I can't find any up here. I was like, there's not up there. There's no breeders anywhere, really, any other, hardly anywhere. So he's one on one. Most of your JRTC breeders are they're like 50 years old and older. She's like, they're not going to be breeding that much. Right? Me and my wife are probably like one of the youngest JRTC breeders there are. Yeah. So they're just, they, they don't breed that much. They breed one one litter a year. So And, they, and they're real picky on who they sell to. They all want to sell to you if you're going to be doing shows. So a lot of them are still special. You get into the AKC specific. They want you to. Go to seventy five thousand. You're like, that costs money. You gonna yeah. you gonna fit, you gonna uh, pay for the bill? And we have only two JTCA shows a year in Texas, so anywhere else I gotta travel, and I'm like, I ain't driving twelve plus hours to go to a show all the time. <laughs> and it's not cheap to go to. I mean, one dog if you do a few events, you I mean you're spending three hundred dollars per dog you take. Uh, all for all for a twelve dollar ribbon. Yeah. <laughs> Dogs. I haven't bought a dog in a long time. We do a lot. We do trading. Like, uh, where, uh, I bet you go back in the box. The little Tana White I got, she's from a breeder in Mexico. She wanted one of my males, so we swapped. Uh, I didn't I didn't want any males, so he, he's like, I'll swap you a female for a male. I was like, what's your name? I can use a female. I can't use a male. To me, the male is almost useless. You know, females make your money, males. Unless you got ridiculous, you know, people want to stud with your dog like crazy. Other than that, they don't make you that the money. It's the females that make you the money. Like that, one, well, that one right there. Guys, I don't have to say anything today. I don't have to say anything. You don't understand. You said everything I say. Everything that I say. Any, anybody that breeds, they know. I'm telling you right now, the boy is useless. I've told. I've said this. This guy doesn't even breed bullies. So you, but you do just breed Jack Russells. No, that's the only thing we breed. I thought about going a different breed, but man, it's like that's, say, that's, just, that's just more crap I got to deal with. <laughs> If I went to something else, I'd probably go to. I'd probably get a couple of schnauzers. People, over, people like around, especially I hear people love schnauzers. And they, I mean, they resemble a little Jack Russell. They kind of have that same look, but but yeah, people love schnauzers. And and your sister, she has them there, right? Yeah, and but hell, she can't sell them out now either. She's got how many? How many does Lauren have? I don't she know. She got a few. She's got a few left. I she's know she got to, an older one still. It's almost she got an older one that she's been trying to sell. Uh, trying to rehome and she's got a couple puppies that she, she can't get rid of them either. Why not? That's, that's just how I, I got 10 puppies at the house. I ain't got a single one of them, so they're all almost ready to go. Here, let's do a phone version of this. I'm that's the, to, uh, that's the same thing. Same one. Jack. Guys, we're here with Jack Kennels. You see the man works out. That being said, he's got a dog named Kai. 
you guys have asked me many times, hey, where'd you get the general from? As you see, the general's out here exploring and having a good time. I got him from this, his mom. Yes, yes. <laughs> I got him from a mom, but he too is a breeder. I'm gonna tag them both if you're interested in Jack Russell. Now, if you don't mind telling, what's one of the reasons you love Jack Russell Terry? Uh, just their drive mostly. They're extremely smart. They're usually too smart for their own good. Most of the time they get in trouble, but yeah, just the drive that they have is what we like about them the most. So. And now, what they're doing today is call these play dates. Bring them do a little riding, turn around, do a little running around, AKA got this whole uh, thing mapped out. <laughs> it's actually fun to watch. Me and the general, as you see, we're just tuned in, having a good time. Now, people, if you got questions about Jack Russell, definitely reach out to them and uh, get you one. This is be, if you're short of I know the French Bulldog has to be under 28 pounds. That don't, the weight don't matter. It's as long as you can chest span them. If you're showing them. Now, if you're racing and stuff, it uh, chest span them doesn't matter at all. If you're showing them, you got to be able to chest span them. So, I mean, chest span means just put your hands around. Yeah, go around. Which they stand them up a little bit. They stand them up like this and do it. Touch your middle fingers. And you got to get around. So that's as far as I can get on him. So you gotta be able to, your fingers gotta be able to touch. And you know, of course, obviously, uh, most of your judges are women. So obviously they usually have a little smaller hands, so they're probably not gonna be able to touch on all the dogs, but they know about the right size because they, they're trained to know. So even if their fingers can't touch, they still know about what spanable is. So if Shaq was judging, that'd be cheating because he's got hands <laughs> yeah. like a predator. He could probably span him. <laughs> yeah, for sure. For sure. Even my other male, I have to get him pretty lean to be able to chest span him. And uh, I said he's not even—he's not near this size. He's only 20 pounds. 21. 